What? Did you enjoy the game? The game, uh, I think, uh, the first half uh, we could have scored. Out of six uh, chances, they had uh, two chances. And, uh, and in the second half, uh, it was uh, unbelievable that uh, again injuries uh, were there. In a final, like uh, we have seen in the season, but in spite of that, in spite of uh, down to ten players, we showed a spirit what we have showed in this road to the final. We were against Sheffield United at home. We scored in the last minute. We we do fight till the end against, uh, I think, uh, West Ham United. We were behind at home and we scored still an equaliser in the last minutes of the game. And then we won away. And against Everton in the last minute. So when you do that, on your road to the final. And you prove that again in a final with 10 players against 11. Tuesday evening uh, we have played more or less with the same team. Yeah, then, then you can be very proud as uh, Manchester United manager, but also as a fan. And you have seen it on the Tribune. Luke, what does it mean to have that trophy in front of you? On Thursday you talked about what it means to the club, what it means to the players. You look very emotional at the start of extra time in talking to the players. So what does it mean to have that stand in front of you? I'm always emotional when I talk with the players. Uh, because it is uh, very important uh, at these moments that you convince the players to do things what they have to do at that time. And we have to run the spaces with 10 players. And that is not so easy. So I want to help them. And we have changed our shape uh, a few times, also the players on other positions. <coughs> But uh, I'm very hap happy that it worked. But of course, it was a beautiful call of Jesse. You cannot ima imagine that, but of course, that's fantastic. But we had hit the post and the bar also al already two times. So I think we deserve it. Yeah. Do, you, do you expect to, to stay in your job now? Do you, when do you expect to uh, meet, the, meet, the, meet the board to discuss this? I uh, show you the cup and I don't discuss it with my friends of the media who already second me for six months. Which manager can do that? What I have done. Should the club though have given you some sort of public endorsement because they didn't want to try to deny or stop this reporting it? Do you think you could have got more support from the and, club? And you had followed the board then? <laughs> okay, any more questions on the game? Any yeah, more questions on the game? Well, given the fact you might not be managing, okay, do you think this is the perfect send off? Is this the perfect way to leave United to end the three year trophy drought? You know, is this, you got on a high? I don't uh, want to talk about leaving. The club. Louis, congratulations. Do you see this as a platform to uh, build a dynasty at Manchester United for yourself? And do you consider this as uh, the first success on the route to further successes for Manchester United? Of course. Uh, I have said when I started as a manager that uh, we are in a process of transition. And uh, I had, uh, but that I have already said a, a lot of times in press conferences, so I repeat myself. I have to refresh my selection, my squad, and I've done it. And uh, in spite of uh, the many injuries this season, uh, we are a, 
still in the race, and now we have lifted the cup. That's a title. And it was three years ago that uh, United had the title. And I'm very proud that I'm the first manager after the period of uh, Alec Ferguson, Sir Alec F Ferguson. <coughs> and uh, I have made the picture with him because that's history. Do you think this side will be better next season? That's dependable because also last season I have uh, asked for players. But you don't think that the players that I have asked has come. So, and that's what I have already said in many press conferences. It is not so uh, easy when United come for a player. Three parties, and when United is coming, the price is double. I think much more than double. And, and then you have to realize if you have to do that or not. Because the <coughs> policy of this club is uh, pl play with uh, youth players. And uh, that we have done also. Conference. Can you tell us about Marcus Rashford, please, and the situation and how concerned you are uh, and what the damage is? Yeah, I, I don't know because it, it happens. And uh, uh, we have to wait and see. Uh, uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow how uh, bad the injury is uh, you cannot uh, uh, predict that so we have to wait you can't get <coughs> you put so much faith in your young players it must be great for you to see um, the Jesse score to decide and go yeah of, co of course <laughs> uh, I'm happy with uh, every goal, uh, also of uh, older players. Uh, I uh, have made the decision to let them out of the team. And I have made the decision also to change Mata, uh, in spite that he has scored the goal, uh, the equalizing goal. Uh, so, you have to compare always players in the moment. and. Uh, also, my friends of the media, or some friends of the media, has written that uh, Memphis the Pie was not here, and, and, and like that for rubbish. They don't know, but they write it. And they want to uh, undermine my authority. But it is not true. Memphis is here, was on the pitch, and, and of course it is very tough that he is uh, outside the squad of a cup final. But the circumstances are different now, because now I have a bigger squad. So I have to compare players. And with Esther Young, I could change. And you have seen it. After the match, you can say, OK, I was right, because he has played on the uh, uh, striker position, uh, he has played on the left winger position, and left fullback. Now, and it was necessary, I think. Memphis travel with the rest of the team down? No, of course not. The other players neither. So you can write because you sent a photographer, but you have to ask. But you are not doing that. You sent photographers. And then you said, hey, Memphis is not there. Bosser Jackson was also not there. They go with a later train because I won't focus in my sport. But don't write when you don't know it. But I've said it many times, several times, but it's, it's very uh, it's tough for, for the manager. Okay, last question. Last question. Last question. Last question. You won the FA Cup this season, Louis. What will be your top target next season? It's the same. Well, as as uh, this season, it was fourth, and we want to be third because you want to improve. Every year you want to improve, but when you see our season with 14 injuries in, in the month of uh, uh, November, December, and also two full backs, uh, all the full backs were injured, how you can solve that? You cannot solve that. And then I have taken the risk to, to don't uh, catch a player at that time, 
a left fullback and a right fullback because I have uh, taken both for Jackson and uh, Varela at that time and also Timothy uh, Fossil Mensa. I have taken the risk and now I can be happy because uh, we have won something but it is very difficult decision to do that because I can go with youngsters but I thought we need the spirit of the youngsters. So if you don't have the same injuries next season, what do you think you could achieve next season? That is uh, dependable how we can uh, purchase uh, players because I believe in refreshment of my squad. I believe in that. And you cannot uh, stay with the same uh, squad. You need always refreshment. And, and also, I need the players that I have asked. And uh, you know, as no one other else, that I have said I want creative, fast wingers, or not, in the preparation. And we didn't do that, because it was not possible. But uh, you are thinking that everything is possible in Mrs. United. No, I'm sorry. It is not like that. Okay, but on. we have a bigger chance than other clubs because we are, of course, a rich club. Louis, okay, you won a lot of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. <laughs> 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 <laughs>